well. According to the French tradition, we don't like to silence the horse. We like to let the horse speak and express themselves because we don't want the horse to have uh, tension in his mouth, tension in his lower jaw, tension in his pole, because if there's tension in those places, what happens then is that it translates into the tension of the whole body. And for the naturally gated horse, we know what that means, right? More pacing, more step pacing, more hard trot, the things that we don't like. We want smooth gates, we want smooth quality gates. So to get that, we need to help the horse relax. That's why I do not use a nose band. Now you can use a nose band, just don't snug it up. Let the horse be able to open his mouth and chew and taste the bit. That's very important. And I also ride in snaffle bits. A word of caution is if you adopt a horse that has only been ridden in a shank bit, you gotta train them with the snap of it. Don't just switch one day and think that it's all going to be fine and they're going to know what to do because they won't. So if they've been ridden with a, with a shank bit, two-handed, you need to retrain them using a snap. So the best way to do it is in hand at a halt and then in hand uh, at a slow walk and then on their back at a halt and then on their back at a very slow walk. Every time you add tempo, things can go awry. There's just so many moving parts, and the more tempo you have, the more potential for anxiety and tension, both in the rider and the horse. So when the horse gets nervous, a lot of times the rider gets nervous, which only reinforces the anxiety in the horse. So it's best to teach the horse how to have a relationship with snap a bit, teaching them to accept the contact and then to follow the contact. It's very different than bit avoidance. That means pain. That's not what we're doing. What we're doing is we're saying, seek the bit, accept the bit, and follow my light communication with the bit with you. So that would tell the horse what position of head it should have uh, to soften its jaw, and it's a process. It doesn't just happen overnight. So this horse, he's four. We've been having a relationship for a year now with a snaffle bit. Not all snaffle bits are the same. Not all horses' mouths are the same. Not all horses' temperaments are the same. So some horses, they want a different kind of flavor or they want a different kind of thickness or they want a different kind of shape. So it all depends on the horse. I just want a bit with this horse that he will salivate and swallow. That's very important. Well, thanks for joining us and come visit us at naturallygated.com.